Nah, son, baby. And this is another episode. Can't help but swing it, boy. Swing it, brother, swing. And this is your host. Nah, son, baby, 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 baby. Here we go. Microphone chat one two one two. This is your host, not son, baby. And this is another episode of Swingers After Dark. And I'm with T Quest, Terra Quest. You did that. What the T stands for? Al, for you slow motherfuckers out there. So T, I've been knowing her for over a decade when I used to rap. Yes, I went through my rapping phase. You dig? And you know, we hit the New York City circuit like, you know, 40 going north, baby. That's a Chicago term. 40 going north. That means full speed ahead, baby. Full speed ahead. And you know, T Quest, she's doing her thing on, you know, the lives, you know, the Facebook live. She got her own radio show and she has a buzz. You know, she's doing her thing, thing, thing. And, you know, just recently she interviewed Sticky Fingers from Onyx. Ah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, um, I'm a big boy standing on my big boy's pants. Her, give me a microphone before I bust in my pants. Y'all, y'all don't know about that. Y'all don't know about that. But anyway, enough of the dumb shit. So, T Quest. Uh, yeah. as, as you can see I'm doing this without coffee ow so and I'm doing this without coke but um you know I, I'm just energetic by nature you feel me no I totally get it you you, you get it or you got it cause, it, cause if you got sure. it you don't already have to get it okay don't stop get it get it don't stop oh, okay so T quiet so like, what is your show about? First of all, how can they reach your show? <laughs> because it's nice. It's tight. First of all, what is the name of your show? The name of my show is um, The T-Quest Show. You know, listen, maybe four. Listen, listen. You, you listen, listen. Okay. Hold up, hold up, hold up. You're not allowed to say um, okay? We don't do ums on the show. You got to be a straight shooter. Anyway... What is the name of your show and how can they find you? So, I'm going to speak the way I want to speak. Oh, <laughs> shit. Oh, shit. And before we even talk about my show, um, I think it's more respectful for me to say hi to your listeners. Nah, my, my listeners are rude, yo. They don't, they don't give a fuck about that, that no, like, proper I greeting etiquette. I would rather have a proper greeting and say hello to your listeners. All right, do your thing. <laughs> don't sound so disappointed. No, nah, we we don't do that. That that like we we don't do that. That uh, what's that word? Courtesy, proper shit. You know what I'm saying? We don't we don't do that. We 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 pit bulls around these parts. We pit bulls around these parts. And that's cool and all, but for me, I am respectful, and I want to say hi first. Okay, well, we don't we don't say hello because, because hell is low. So you can say hi because we get hi 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 hi. Keep going. Hi. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's making, yes. That's that's making my dick hard. But anyway, keep going. So, what is your show about? What's the name of it? T Quest and. The name of my show is the T Quest Show. Relatable, informative, yet entertaining. Okay. So, what do you talk about? Is it a gossip show, an entertainment show, a fuck you show, a fuck me show, a fuck us show, a fuck them show? What is it? Definitely, it's not that because I don't even use profanity. But no, nah, we we raw so too. We we don't fuck with condoms. We don't that. listen. T Quest, listen, listen, listen. Fall back, shorty. We don't fuck with condoms. We fuck raw. Anyway, keep going. My show <laughs> is relatable, informative, yet entertaining. So when I'm speaking with my guests, whether it's having a conversation, selling one of their products, talking about whatever their this music or new business or whatever, 
you know, just have some fun with it. Talk about life, love, music, sex, business, money. Yeah, keeping the audience entertained at the same time. T Quest, you fucking up. You know how? Because okay, that's cool, but you still didn't tell us where can we find your show. You can find my show on my T Quest app, which you can Google, or you can find your Google App Store or your Play Store. So spell out T Quest for the slow motherfuckers out there. T dash Q U E S T. That's T Q U E S T. T-Quest. Oh, okay. 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 Excuse more. It's T with the dash. Q-U-E-S-T. Uh-huh. Okay, because I, I got to get it right. Mm. It's tight. Thank you. I always keep it right and tight. Now we want to proceed with the interview. So how, how, did, you, how did you transition from rap and to podcasting because I remember I met you on MySpace and it's, there's one song that I wanted to collaborate with you on it's magic because when I was rapping I was shy skills and I said shy skills is magic that was like my tagline my signature mm-hmm. line and you had a song called magic and I wanted to be on it we should do a remix I had a song called work your magic yes work your magic that's the same difference I, I want to do a remix matter of fact can you can you email me the mp3 because that's hot that song was hot um, i don't even i don't even have that song anymore to yeah, be you know, I, I have all my songs i own my yeah. masters in this bitch i'm so happy for you but like i stated i don't have that song anymore that's a shame that's no. a damn gone shame don't ever have your I songs mean, you, throw, you throw away your kids you're the type of parent to throw away your kids you sound a hot mess. That, 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 I make a mess. Ow. But why you don't have your songs? That that was the most popular song on MySpace. Yes, but um, there was an incident where some of my stuff got destroyed, including my music. So I don't have it. Will I be able to retrieve it one day? Possibly. See, but see, fellas. Be be careful when you date T Quest because she got more excuses than somebody going to jail and she doesn't like to, you know, keep her precious valuables. So make sure and that I'm giving you an excuse so I'm gonna let you know what it is. Okay, so it's it's a reason, it's not an excuse. Hmm. Next question. Oh, okay. Now she's getting feisty because she got caught up. I didn't get caught up. You asked me a question. I gave you the answer. So how was the transition from rapping to podcasting? It's not really a transition because I'm still doing both. But if you must know how I started into getting into broadcasting, I was actually being interviewed as a music artist on a platform, and they were so intrigued by the way I spoke my content, my personality, and especially my voice, that they was like, you ever thought about doing radio? And that's in the court. And then they gave me the platform. And I haven't stopped since. So I've been yeah. going plus years strong as a personality. So family, you saw what she just did. She, she corrected me. It's not a podcast. Excuse me. It's a broadcast. It's a broadcast. You dig? So t Quest. Let me ask you a personal question. Why haven't we okay. fucked yet? Why, why haven't you allowed me to smash, hit them draws? Why, why we, why we didn't do that? Why we didn't, why you didn't give me no cut, no cut? Well, I wasn't interested in doing that. No shit. Oh shit. Oh, okay. Let, let, let's skip to that. Let, let's. Why not? You would have been there. Um, you you would have been sprung by now. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure I would not have been sprung. You know what I'm saying? I would have put it on you. You know what I'm saying? You know. Be clear, I would not have been sprung. Oh, okay, okay. Now, now you're talking shit. No, I'm just being honest. I'm gonna let you slide, play girl. I'm gonna let you slide. So, how long have you been broadcasting? Um, I just dated it eight plus years. Listen, I, I got ADHD on the low, so you may have to repeat some shit. You feel me? Okay. So, <laughs> so, how do you, what are the ups and downs 
of a podcast. I'm I'm sorry. Broadcasting. What are the ups and downs? <laughs> well, um, I think you know, the ups is you get the chance to tell your story, tell your thoughts, your opinions, you know, your perspective or whatever. Depending if you have that open platform to do that. The downfall is if you have a certain platform, if you're on like syndicated radio where they're telling you what to say and limiting you. But when you're independent with it and you have free thought, it's even more fun. And then after that, you have to make sure that you're giving the people great content that make them want to continue to listen to you and then tell other people about your show as well. So what is the name of your broadcast? The name of my show is The t Show. Okay, and that's, that's one of the few shows that I have. So what other shows that you have? I have the t Quest show as my main show. And then I have the Captain Quest show, a DJ exclusive, um, Captain Fat Nipple One. And then I have the I Told You podcast with DJ Red Ring Liz. And I also have the Raw Honey show with our catwalk and the official Quest show with DJ Miss Official. Yeah, how many shows you got? You like I an know, octopus. Um, um, you know, everyone just can't get enough of tea cool. Oh, okay, boo. Okay, you tried it. Doing the most. Doing Why are you most. saying boo saying I tried it? Once again, I'm just being honest. Dragging it. But anyway, so how many shows? You can't even count. See, that's how busy, that's how busy she is. She got so, so many shows that she lost count. Don't even know what. Show. So, what is your main show? The T Quest Show. And you've been doing it for eight years on on Facebook or where else? Is did it start on Facebook or? My first show is actually called God on Me Radio, and that was on um, Street G Radio Station. Then I was part of Inner City Groove Show. Um, that was in 88.5 FM in Connecticut. Then I was part of the Quiet Storm Lovers Hour at 95.7 in Dudley, Massachusetts. But right now, people could find some of my shows on Facebook or they can find it on my app. And if they want to, they can even find it on iTunes and Spotify as well. So what is the name of your show on Spotify, iTunes? It is called The Key Quest Show. Listen, listen, it's, listen, we got to beat it in their heads. Repetition, repetition, repetition. It's like that song that you didn't like at first, but then when you heard it over and over again, you was like, damn, that's my cut. So I, I like to repeat shit. And also to satisfy my ADHD. But anyway, enough about me. So how long you see yourself doing this broadcasting? Um, As long as I feel like it. You know, so I love doing what I do. People love hearing what I have to say, and most importantly, they love hearing my voice. No, oh, okay, dragging it. So, uh, are, are you sure they want to hear your voice? I'm very sure, mm. and I know for a that they love hearing my voice. Well, you do have a fan base. I give you that. Like, you have a fan base, so it's not like it's crickets or you see tumbleweed rolling when you do your lives. Because you had Sticky Fingers on recently. And what else celebrities, Sticky Fingers from Onyx, rap group Onyx, who else celebrities that you had on your show? Oh, well, everybody's, well, uh, wait, wait, let, let me back up. Everybody's a celebrity on your show. But what is the most known? Let, let's do that. What is the most known? Okay. Well, if you must, uh, like you said, Sticky Fingers was... I interviewed him yesterday, and um, actually he was on a call last night with Olivia. She got new music out. Um, last week, I introduced Daddy O. That's the Sonic. Yes. Talking yes, all that jazz. Anyway, keep going. Absolutely, and he's actually um, doing an all-female album that he wants me on, so that's going to be kind of dope. Daddy O from Stats the Sonic wants you on his all-female album? Yes, he does. Okay, okay. Let me find out you got some pool. Anyway, keep going. You know, yeah, and recently I interviewed um, Jada Kids for his new song he came out with 
some of the older cats came back out, like John B. and um, Vivian Green was shouting this song out, even as you know, Howard. I did a few um, celebrity chefs on my show, you know. So. You had Jada Kiss too? Yeah. Oh, okay, so you had Kiss on your show. You had Adina Howard too? Yes, that is correct. A one to the two to the two to the three. Adina, do you want to get freaky with me? Oh, okay. I had a quick flashback. Let's 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 mm-hmm. let's bring it back. <laughs> but anyway, so who was your favorite guest? To be honest, I had a blast with Sticky Fingers yesterday. Sticky Fingers. Yeah. That, that now this a- now wait 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 wait. Let, let's see let's see let's let's see something. Did you ask him the questions? that I wanted you to ask him. And what question would that be? How did he get the movie role in Strap, Clockers, and their presidents? Um, so clearly you didn't hear the show after you asked the question. I was just, I was just testing but you. Anyway, keep yeah, going. I did ask him those questions. He answered it, and then he made it seem as if I didn't know the history, because technically in one of those movies that you was asking about, that was federal star, so he wasn't the main role, but he was in the lineup. So yeah, that's what I'm talking about. He was in the lineup, like. Uh, and and I, I I collected it with him. I was like, well, technically, if you're in the lineup, you're in the movie. Yeah, he was on the police lineup and strap. Mm-hmm. So he was in yeah. the movie. Listen, he, he motherfuckers want to be so technical. Listen, he was in a damn movie, okay? So let's not cut the shit. So what about how do you feel about um, you know, Skittles still in his cousin style, Fredro style? We're not gonna say his name. We just wanna call him Skittles or Rainbow Boy. So how do you feel about that? Well, to be honest, um if people want to hear the interview, they can definitely go on my Skittles mobile app. But um I didn't ask him that question because I didn't really care about that question. Oh, uh, boo. I made it all about him, not the people he worked with. So, and that's no. not good. But listen, listen, sometimes you have to be a little messy, okay? No, I don't have to be messy because I know what I'm doing. Oh, 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 okay, excuse me. Oh, okay, excuse me, excuse me. So, what do you see your broadcast headed? What is the future? What does the future hold? Well, right now, um, my shows are on 15 plus radio stations, and um, every few weeks, a new one is always interested in it. So, you know, I might be the ninth breakfast club, Andrew Martinez, Deep Harvey, Tom Jordan, Ricky Riley, on multiple syndicated radio stations all over. Listen, listen, don't be plugging other motherfuckers on my shit, <laughs> okay? They're not, they not, they not paying bills. They're not paying me any sponsorships. Thank you. Hmm? Mm-hmm. They're not paying any sponsorships. They're not giving me any money to plug them. Okay, so don't be name dropping. I just want you. Okay, you because I fucks with you. So they gonna have to pay the play, baby. You dig? I was just answering the question. Listen, 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 listen. You, you, work, you working my nose? We, we, we gonna cut this shit short. So anyway, leave off with um. No, nah, I'm just playing. But and all bullshit aside, so. You know, I, I love what you're doing. You know, you're doing your thing. You're on your grind. Like, you're consistent. You know, all, in all seriousness, you're consistent, and I appreciate your grind and your hustle. And it's like, every time I log on, you have a new show. And that's good because a lot of people give up. They either give up or they're not persistent or they, they don't think it's going anywhere. They don't keep doing it. You know, in a podcast world, we call it pod fading. Meaning, like, that's people who start a podcast and they don't, they don't even get past their fifth show. Like, the most mm-hmm. show that people, like, 25, you'd be lucky to get 25. So, when people when people tell me or ask me how I'm, I'm able to record 200 plus shows, I'm like, this is what I love to do. When you love to do something, it's not work. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, what is your ingredients to keep going? What motivates you? to keep going I mean the easiest thing is I love what I do you know I love talking about certain um, topics I love giving my personal opinion it's not usually the average so people appreciate that even more you know and um, I love talking to people who are actually interesting and entertaining that actually intrigues me 
you know, so I'm having fun doing it, which makes it even more easier. And even one of the um, magazines that I work for, they email me back yesterday, they're like, you have been one of the number one consistent writers since you started working together, and they've had the publication for seven years. And he said, you always um, have your stuff in on time, and it's never missed a beat ever since you started. You know what they say, if you don't grind, you won't shine. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Absolutely. Oh, okay, okay. So, anything else you'd like to tell the listeners? No, I mean, at the end of the day, like, I'm here. I'm an open book. I'm fun. I'm entertaining. I'm gifted. I'm laughing. I smile. I'm a positive person. You can follow me on all social media platforms at TQuest GLM and download that TQuest Boba app in the Google Play Store and your app store to keep up with all my awesomeness. See, it's T-Quest with a dash. Just like how Jay-Z used to have the dash. It's t- well, let, 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 let me back. I'm going to edit that name because he's not paying me shit either. Anyway, just how certain people, they got a dash. It's T-Quest with a dash. Yeah. So what, what advice would you give other broadcasters? I mean, I tell them, yes, it's, it's easier nowadays for anybody to have a platform. But don't just use it just because you can actually have a love for what you do and actually have great content that people want to listen to. A lot of the other podcasters, I try to support them and listen, but a lot of them don't even have shows that I even want to engage in, you know? So you have to really think about your listeners and your followers. Do what you want to do, but balance it out what people actually want to hear from you. And on that note, this has been another episode of Swing is After Dark, and this is your host, Nassan, baby. Check out my website at www.nassanblaze.com. That's www.nahsunblaze.com. And check out my ebook, You, Me, Us, Them, The Swinging Manifesto. It's on Nook, Kindle, iBooks, Google Play. Go get it. Shoot me an email at swingpodcast at gmail.com. That's swingpodcast at gmail.com. And hit me up with any questions or concerns that you may have. have, have. Ray Chef is trying to comment on this podcast. Yo, da, 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 dig. And on that note, until next time, peace. And that's T Quest with a dash, baby.